First time tonight, the Rockets did not score with one of their possessions. Play action fake, Dicer rolling out of the pocket, has room, room, and delivers the football. Nice grab by Nick Harwell. How about that? I mentioned to you before that he had had four straight games of over 100 yards. Listen to these numbers, John. He didn't play in the first game against Missouri, but in the second game, 162 yards, 139 in game three, 149 in game four, 186 in game five, and last week against Kent State, one yard. <laughs> of course, if you think, win nine to three, there's not going to be a whole lot of scoring. But well, I, think, I think they're going to review. Runner. I think they're going to review that play, uh, whether he caught it or whether it was, uh, you know, hit the ground when it was right against his helmet. He made one of those Super Bowl catches. Yes. You know, he holding it against his head. Well, we'll see it right here. Great you camera to, work again for our guys on his head. But you have to complete the catch all the way through, and you can see the ball hits the ground right there. Yeah, they're going to call so that incomplete. If they they may they may say his hand was underneath it, but generally in that they they use that phrase of completing the whole action of the catch. Great again, camera work by our crew. Right there, the ball hit the ground, so he really didn't finish it without the help of the ground. So that's our opinion. We'll see what the gentlemen up in the re review booth have to say. But again, that's the uh, one of those points of emphasis, like the hands to the face this year. The you know the face mask calls is a point of emphasis this year. Another point of emphasis is completing the action of the catch all the way through the process. And you can see the ball does hit the ground, but they may rule that his hand was you know underneath it because again there has to be conclusive video evidence to make those you know to return and the call in the field was a completed pass. Well I tell you in his defense the ball never left his hand. He pinned it against his helmet and when he rolled over the nose of the ball did hit the ground but it never moved from his hand. So there's a possibility they may call this a catch. You're seeing the same reviews video wise that uh, we're seeing here in our booth. You'll see it one more time but I'll tell you great concentration by Harwell on this. Look at this. Or should have had it right here. Squeezes out and even though he gets drilled yeah, they're going to call it a catch. So they said his hand was yep. underneath the ball. You said that's the only way they're going to call it, and you are correct again. Four receivers in the pattern, second down and 20. Crossing pattern and a catch by Nick Harwell. Down to the 33-yard line. They're going to mark it officially at the 32 of the Rockets. It was actually a, a great call. That was an audible, you could tell, by Dicer. There was no coverage on the inside receiver. He just ran a vertical right up the field. Uh, he delivered a strike. The defense, though, did a nice job of splitting the difference between. That's only the second catch of the night for Harwell. He's averaging about 107 yards per game over his last 14 games with pass receptions. And he's been a, a good guy coming in. You know, the second line uh, has done, you know, has had some real impact. Another crossing pattern. Harwell holds on to the football, almost dropped it, but recovered and pulls it in at the 20-yard line for another Miami first down. Well, that's a play you can see they like, you know, running that uh, guy down and in on a dig route. And uh, he does a great job of uh, seeing over the line. I mean, he's six foot four, sees over that line and is able to thread the needle. On the rocket 20 yard line. Nice throw and catch. Tell you, Harwell's got some good hands. We saw him pin one against his helmet for a completion, and that one hit him in the numbers, started to drop, and he was able to gather it in and still get hit. Third down and a short cab ride. Swing pass out. This is Nick Harwell. He's going to get bumped out of bounds. Desmond Morrow will issue him to the sidelines. And, and uh, you know, was, he knows, like he had mentioned. You know, he knows that he should deserve it. I think everybody else is there, too. So I think one day that will happen. I think there is an eventuality. Here's yeah. Nick Harwell on the bubble screen, and he's got some running room, trying to get run down late and finally going to be dragged down. Good hustle by Desmond Morrow to save the touchdown for the moment as he drops him inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. And that was a bubble screen, guys, that came inside and looked like it was almost designed to go right back outside again. No, he was supposed to come inside. He just made a great play, another good run. That's two tonight for him. And again, the talking momentum, you don't want to let a team score right before half like this. So we'll see if they can get that momentum. You know, now the defense again is inside the 10. Can they stop them?